great. Thanks, guys, for having me. How are you all? So, Nakia Vaughn, she's the communications coordinator, adult and pediatric uh, transitions over at John Hopkins for Sickle Cell Improvement, correct? Yes. Now, please, you uh, sent me a message saying that John Hopkins really needs our help to get the word out there about Sickle Cell and people donating blood. Please explain what's happening. Yes, sure, quick. Thanks again for having me. So, during the current Corona-19 pandemic, blood drives are being canceled in an effort to comply with social distancing Mm -hmm. to help to stop the spread of the virus. And because of the drives that are being canceled, critical blood supply for our sickle cell community who rely on blood from transfusions to red blood exchanges are being affected. So how can we help? So yes, the sickle cell community uh, relies on the generosity of listeners like yours to donate blood to help sickle cell patients who are at risk for stroke, very severe lung disease or pain crisis if they are unable to get their blood transfusions. Mm -hmm. Even children and adults with sickle cell disease need blood transfusions to prevent a permanent brain injury. So the American Red Cross is making sure that every safety measure is in place to safely give blood during this pandemic. Mm -hmm. So please call your local American Red Cross or go online to schedule and ask specifically for the Blue Tag Program to make sure your blood is banked for sickle cell disease. Blue Tag Program. That's what I was going to ask you. How can they make sure they do it safely during this time? And you can um, visit the www.redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS, 1-800-733-2767. Now, once again, we're talking to Nikia Vaughn from John Hopkins. Now, how realistic, let's just be honest right now, with this whole coronavirus happening, how realistic is it for somebody to potentially give blood today um, and their blood be, you know, okay, and then 14 days from now, we find out potentially they have coronavirus? Right, absolutely. So uh, the American Red Cross uh, is screening the blood very carefully, So, of course, you know, they will probably have an incubation period for the blood while it's being tested. So it will be very safe. They have every measure in place to make sure that the blood is safe as they're banking it and before they give it to um, patients, sickle cell patients or any patients who need blood. All right. Thank you so much. And once again, if if someone wants to donate blood or I need more information, what's the website? The website is www.redcross.org. Or they can also call 1-800-RED-CROSS to schedule an appointment. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Take care. Be safe and healthy.